guys, so I am coming to you with a very small Dollar Tree haul in my room with no makeup on and just really quickly, okay? Um, the kids, um, the smallest one is napping, the older two are playing, and I thought that it would be good just to come on here and share this really quick haul with you. Um, I didn't get a lot. I didn't find a lot, unfortunately. I still have some things to get, so I still have a few last minute things to get for my spa basket for Dirty Santa. I have a whole other Dollar Tree, um, not Dollar Tree, but just Dirty Santa present in general to put together. So I'm hoping to find some things from Dollar Tree. But I was only able to go to one Dollar Tree on this trip. And I knew I was probably going to have to go to several, to be honest, to be able to find all of the things I was looking for. And with three children, um, seven and under, it was just really hard to drag them through town like that. So I didn't get to get all that I was looking for. But I did find some things. So I wanted to just show it to you. Um, you've probably seen all of this before, but I still was excited to find it. And so I just wanted to share it because that's what I do. When I find something, I share it with you whether you've seen it or not. And I like people that do that as well. So um, we got some new e.l.f. products in. Um, so a lot of people have been able to find this and more. I know that a lot of the um, e.l.f. lip stains are coming back. A lot of the, um, I forget what the other one is called. It's like a, it's kind of like a lip balm consistency, but they're in different colors. So it's like a lip tint, but I don't think that's what they call it. But anyway, I know there was a lot of new ones of those. I really want to find the lip stains because the one that I got, I think it's like pink flamingo or pink petal or something like that really loved the lip stain. I just like the, the way it felt and the way it looked on my lips. I just want some different color variations, but I did find this blush and they had it in two different colors and I felt like this color was more me. Um, and there was also a really, really dark blush color as well. And this is in the color glow. Um, I like elf blush. I don't mind using, um, a cheap br blush makeup. Um, because it doesn't bother my face, but I don't use a cheap foundation or cheap powder because number one, it just doesn't cover me very well, and number two, it makes my face break out. So I try not to use like cheap foundation, but cheap blush is fantastic, and it's cheap, so yes, please. Um, I also found these. So you guys saw in my last haul the other stickers that I hauled um, in this same line. Um, there was a stars, there was hearts, there was like a Parisian theme, and there were like the hearts in the squares. But they didn't have these the last time, so I found them at a different Dollar Tree. These are the butterflies, and these are the owls. Honestly, I feel like I might go and pick up a whole nother set of these if I can find them again, just because I really really like these especially like the square hearts I really love those I like the Parisian theme even though I'm not into the whole Paris theme thing and I like these butterflies just because I feel like all of those can be used for so many different like um vintage looking projects but really any of them can and the owls are just too cute so I did pick up those two that I was missing out of that collection I also found um the um um I'm trying to think of the word, and I know that you guys are probably thinking no holographic um, washi tape. I really like these. Um, the shine to them is just really, really cute. They just call it deco tape. Um, it is by Jot. These have come out before, but I never picked them up before, and I really just like this. I like this. Um, I wish they had them in different colors as well, but this one comes with the pink and green and then the pink and blue. So I'm definitely going to use those. I wish it came in like a red color. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I just feel like I can use those. I also found the gold paper clips. Now, there are also a lot more in this collection. There are push pins that are gold. There's a different shape of a paper clip. And I think there's something else. Oh, there's a binder clip as well. And they're all in this like coppery... And they're not gold. I said gold at first, but they're, it's like this copper, it says metallic rose colored. So that's what it's calling it is rose gold. Um, it is pretty rose gold. It is. Um, I feel like it's just a little bit dark, but yeah, it is rose gold. So it says metallic rose colored. And these are the small paper clips. Um, I wish there was a little bit bigger of a paper clip, but I like these. I like these small ones as well. I don't mind. So I got two packages of those. You get 50 in a pack. I didn't find anything else from that collection. I just found those. So I'm hoping to find more. 
I also got some glue sticks So you guys saw in my last haul. I think I got three or four packs. I got two more. I am stocking up while they have these because I'm scared they're not going to have them again and I'm going to have to look for them. And then I also got another hole punch. I break these really easy. I want, I need to invest in a more expensive kind or like, I don't know, just a bigger, more expensive version. But for now I just buy these and they last for a while, but I have been doing some heavy duty projects lately and I've broken a couple of mine. I like these to be everywhere and I really like the ones with the grip on them. Um, I like them to be everywhere because I seem to always misplace them so I can never have enough. Um, let's see what else. I also got these Christmas pom-poms. Um, because I got these, I got some more of these Christmas, like, foam stickers, and then I got some little bows, because me and the boys are going to use these, and then some other, um, supplies that I already have in my stash to make some Christmas cards for their grandparents and their great-grandparents. And so I got those for us to do that either today or tomorrow. And then I also got another pack of these. These are not new. They've had them last year, if not the year before that as well. So they're definitely not new, but they're coming out with some of the stickers that they had last year. So they are coming out with those. And these are actually in the old Jot packaging. So I don't know if they've had these the whole time and they're just bringing them back or if they had an overstock somewhere hidden in their... I don't know, but they're super cute. I have some of them in my stash already, but you, I just, I love ice creams and cupcakes and all of that cute stuff. I can't stand it. I love it. Um, I got some Clorox wipes to keep in my purse. I like to keep these for like uh, buggies and um, just public things, you know, like any kind of public thing that we're going to come in contact with, especially shopping around the holidays. There's so many people so many germs this time of year. I know because we've caught most of them. And so I want, I wanted to keep some of these. These are Clorox brand and I just like the way the Clorox brand smells. At the Dollar Tree, they also have the Lysol brand as well. I think they have the same amount of wipes in them. You get 15 wet wipes. And I just like these to keep in my purse to wipe down like handles or anything like that, like seats or anything they're going to have to sit in. And yeah, just, just to keep away the germs. I also got this manicure set because just like socks and just like hole punches and just like in, pretty much anything else that I need. Medicine droppers, it happens with those, whatever. Um, we run out of clips of um, like nail clippers all the time. And so I got some of those. And it also comes with tweezers, um, a cuticle remover, and um, it calls it a sponge file. That's really funny. But anyways, um, I got that just that little set because I mean you know I'll use all of those and I'll use the tweezers for crafting so you can't really go wrong with all of that for a dollar. I also got one of these. This is a bill organizer and since I did away with my budget planner and I'm going to kind of integrate it into my regular family planner I thought this would be really good to just keep. Um, it has all of these. I know you guys have probably seen these but this design this year is super duper cute. They also had one with I think feathers on it and another different design, but it just has the month, and then it has all the bills, um, all of a listing area for all of your bills that you have, so it has the due date, um, the exp what it is, um, and then the amount, and then if it's paid or not, so it has two columns for that, so you can do, um, <laughs> that's a lot of bills, I hope nobody has that many bills per month, but it has all of that room and all of this room for one month's bills. And then it has a pocket where you can put it in when it comes in the mail. So you can keep up with that if you do paper billing. And so, yeah, I just thought that this would be really useful since I'm getting rid of my budget planner. Then I finally found some of this. I told you guys I was looking for the scunchy stuff and I did find it. Now, there was a couple of different designs that I was actually looking for that I didn't find. I was actually looking for these. So this kind of style, but it has a piece of fabric to cinch this and it's really cute. So it has like different colors looking like this. I was looking for those. So I'm still looking, um, but this I thought was really good. And this is the same basic principle of what I was looking at. I want these to wash my face at night. So if my hair is actually straightened or whatever and I'm not going to wash it the next morning I'm going to try to wear it that way again um, 
I don't like to get it wet because once my hair gets wet, it waves up and curls up, especially around my face. And so it's done and over with. I have to redo my whole hair. But if I had one of these to pull my hair back away from my face, then I could wash my face without all of that. So anyway, long explanation, but you get five of these in here. So you get a light gray, a charcoal, you get a white and a black. And so it looks like you get two black. I was making sure it wasn't navy because sometimes it's hard to tell, but I think there's two black. So you get five of them in there. And then this one I just thought was really cute. So you can see how she did it in her hair where she just put it in and then it has this little poof where she put the other piece in the back. I think that's really cute. Um, I like messy hair. I think it's really cute. I don't feel like I can ever pull it off like I like it on someone else. But, you know, if you can buy some hair accessories to try it out for a dollar, then yeah, let's just go for it. So I got that. Then I also got these two. So these are the last items that I got. And I did think these were super duper cute. Um, you get two different pieces in here. So it kind of has that same little effect as the black one with this one. And then you get this hairband as well. And it has the two pieces as actually this only, maybe this one does two. Yeah, this is the two pieces. And then this one only does one, I think. I'm pretty sure this one is only like one band. I don't know why this is so interesting to me to find out. I just have to find out, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it is. Yeah, so it's just the one band. It stretches out to one band. So I thought those were super cute. And then this one only comes with one piece, and it's just this kind. I like this and how soft it is because with headbands, I get a headache so super easy. And so I feel like these will be really good to kind of eliminate that. So that is my Dollar Tree haul. I still have to go back to the Dollar Tree before Christmas. Today is Thursday, people. I'm waiting till the last flipping second, but to this week has been chaotic with all of the kids and my husband didn't get an off day and he has been working extra instead of working less. So I haven't had a chance to go anywhere. I have been at home with all of them. So I'm hoping this weekend I can just run out and do some last minute shopping. I have to get gift bags and tissue paper and few last minute items for my gift baskets that I'm doing and so I will be willing to share all of that. I'm going to do some more vlogging coming up soon and so I'm going to hope hope and pray to take you guys with us to share our Christmas holiday with you guys um, and share some traditions that we do in our family as well. So keep a lookout for those videos. But in the meantime, I appreciate you guys watching so very much. I appreciate every single one of you. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>